Oh yeah, what's up YouTube? I am back and I'm doing this for one of my guys again as you guys know. JLB Cheetah 21101 versus the 116th E Revo VXL with the 3M system. So um, as you guys can see, the difference between the two is pretty significant. I mean 116th, that's pretty small man. So this way you one way or the other, which one should you buy? I think, you know, for the price, this thing does run about maybe 249 to 300 depending on, on where you get it, eBay or whatever. Um, this car does have LEDs on the front and it's switching over from the side view. It does have two on the back too, the LED. I mean, I, and just look how much bigger those wheels are. If you pull this through and you compare it, man, this thing is like significantly larger and it does go faster if you, it's 4S compatible with a 120 amp um, ESC inside. Whereas the E-Revo has got that Valenion 3M system, cantilever suspension. The one downfall, the con of this is the suspension is not the best, you know. It's, it's very bouncy at first and you could get like the thickest uh, to dampen it a bit more with the thickest oil. But it still is uh, relatively bouncy. So, you know, I've run this thing quite a bit. I've jumped it. Neither one of them broke in. JLB Cheetah had to buy a new wing mount here because it broke. Well, other than that, this thing is super duper fast. It's got bigger shocks, threaded body, adjustable, um, just like uh, these ones, okay? It's just different. Now, the batteries are a lot smaller on the E-Revo. You're looking at maybe a 2,000 milliamp versus with this one, you could take a bigger one based on the way the tray is. It's got a 4,000 milliamp in there or a 5,000 will fit fine. Um, as far as uh, what I would choose and what I have more fun with, it's tough because Traxxas Parts Supports is really good. And you can still buy parts for this. I know a lot of main man, cool guys, vloggers I know that do have the JLB Cheetah. You know, one guy like flaunts it on Instagram like all the time. You know who you are, it's just legit. So I think the Cheetah I probably have a little more fun with. But um, the E-Revo is cool if you don't have a lot of space like this in the parking lot and you just want to chill in your front yard and jump in and bash. It's got the mag rims versus the JLB Cheetah with the black rims, you know. Uh, here, I'll hold it a little closer so you get a good view in case you're still deciding. Um, you know, and it is a Traxxas, you know, and you will be able to get those parts supports like um, you want you can go to your local hobby store you can buy it's it's legit for that aspect uh, I got the black body on that and this one has some change out bodies you could get you can look on it's a couple guys got that this is the um, remote that comes with it it works pretty good but I had some difficulty cutting in and out when I was real far whereas this is the uh, TQI with the TSM track stability management on it you know as usual anyways let's get um, bodies on Boom. So, oh, I forgot to mention too, these drive shafts, like right here you see, they're the metal ones. Um, they do bend after you jump them after a while. If you jump at high, like at least over 10 feet. I've done that quite a bit, but they held up, you know. It's not affecting the way it drives or nothing. It's just, it bends. Uh, this thing has plastic ones, obviously, but uh, it hasn't broken. I've jumped that pretty high too. Over 10 feet? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. But in the grass, of course. <laughs> Both of them. So, uh, the Bros good bashers. Uh, max speed on the E-Revo with the 3S. It's 3S only compatible. 2S LiPo. It comes with a nickel metal hydride. Um, with the nickel metal, you're looking at maybe like 25 miles per hour, 30, and then with the, oh, and 25 probably, yeah, and then with the 2S, maybe 30 miles per hour, and then with the 3S, if you gear it right so it doesn't overheat, you're hitting about 48 to 50, which ain't bad. You put the other gear on there, the high speed, you'll, you'll hit the 50, but then it just kind of over thermal shutdown sometimes. With this one, 3S, you know, you're looking at 45 to 50, 45 already miles per hour. You uh, hit a 4S in there and you know, you might hit like 55 to 60. It's been done already on YouTube and this thing is pretty dang quick. But um, yeah, enough talking, let's get it running. I'm sorry I haven't been able to make that many videos for you guys, you know. Just been kind of busy and stuff, but uh, here I am. Let's do it.
Yeah, the Cheetah's got some pretty good um, speed, man. It does drive smooth. Now the tires, you know, they are um, a little bit um, slippery and stuff like that, but uh, it works, you know, for what it is. It's fast, it's legit, it has just enough slip that when you run on the asphalt, it looks, it looks sick, you know, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you're looking at about 45 miles per hour right here. And let's see the distance, because I know this radio was cutting out when it was really far and stuff. But let's see how it works today. Today is not, no problems. So sometimes it depends on your radio interference, where you're at, what you're doing, or what part of area you're driving in. Because if people have a lot of radio interference, it will do that, you know. Now, does it turn on the dime? Uh, let's see. Yeah, it pretty much does. It's not bad, you know. You could adjust that, adjust your, uh dual rate and stuff like that but uh yeah there it is man it looks pretty good this is the jlb cheetah for y'all i hope you guys are having a good day you know uh, I, I like the sound you know you kind of squeal it a little pretty sick yeah see that it's fun it's a fun car to drive i'm not really full throttling because i'm trying to let you see the car sometimes you drive it so fast it's so far, you know, you can't really get a good seat. Does it? Does it wheelie on command? Let's see. Yeah, it does. It does a wheelie bar, too. You know, you just gotta gun it like this. Ooh, man, not like that, but let's see. You gun it. Yep, and it, it does wheelie, see that? So it's pretty sick for what it is, man. It's fast, it's fun, and it squeals. Super awesome car. Let's park it next to the uh, E Revo there. There you go. See, there's the E Revo and that. Let's go run the E Revo now. Come on. All right. This is a pretty fast little car too. Uh, Traxxas remotes always have good range. So, so the thing I want to tell you about the E Revo 116th is. It always feels faster because it's smaller, you know? When you have a smaller car, it just like, it feels faster no matter what when you run it. You know, see? And if I gun it, it will flip, of course, but I'm not doing that, I'm kind of easing into the throttle. Oh shit, you hit a little bump, you'll fly. But you know, the handling on this thing is really good. I think for what it is. Oh, there it goes again, what the heck's going on? It's this little bump right here. You know, but uh, this thing is quick, man. Let me bring it in a little closer to show you guys the turning radius and stuff. But you know, with the battery, it dies off real quick for what it is. Uh, because it's only the, the one I'm using right now is only a 1.3 milliamp, 1.3k, or 1300, I should say, so it's small. And it dies off real quick. I need to like run it out and then like recharge and stuff. And make sure that the low voltage cutoff is set for what it is. Okay, so. This thing is ballistic on 3S. It's a little too crazy sometimes because it's so small, you know, that it like will flip. See, like a command, I'm kind of easing into the throttle. On 3S, it's just already super crazy. Even on this low gear, you know, it's like really, I have to kind of slow it down, but it does turn on the dime if you get it. It's super fast. Uh, but on two, I would recommend doing like, like two uh, dual two milliamp or uh, nickel metal hydrides, dual nickel metal hydride instead of 2S because it will ruin it. Like the, I don't think the 3M ESC could handle 2S. Technically it can if you play with the gearing a little bit. But uh, sometimes it just kind of doesn't like that. Uh, it'll, the earth thermal shut down and not, not do as good as it should, you know. So I would probably do a, to a two nickel metal hydride versus a two uh, 2S, but yeah, man, this thing is fast. <laughs> right now, it feels a little faster than the Cheetah just because it's so small. 
and it's like it handles a little better in my opinion with the tires and stuff so you t can technically have more fun with this if they drop these things down to like 249 I mean you're looking pretty good man see I'm, I'm using brake control and imagining I'm on kind of on a short course or something or on a on a track and yeah you see you could like control it a lot better where when you drive the cheetah the big difference is the stock at the box you can't really control it because when you're trying to do these turns like how I am with this e-revo you kind of like it kind of slides out too much and it doesn't work that good uh, it's kind of hard to control uh, where this thing is just like flying and you have like good kind of good control with it now compared to the low C mini 8 uh, I don't know about that though that thing is legit as far as control on a track and racing and stuff like that but see I'm kind of easing it in the throttle you can see how fast it feels oh, it's pretty quick man it goes far too for what it is you know TQI remotes, tracks remotes, always work good and they're always fast. But, uh, yep, LVC right there. I don't know what's going on. It could be thermal shutdown. I don't know which one, but it's just acting up on me a little bit. But, um, anyways, guys, that's the quick look at these two beasts. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all you guys. Um, have a great day, and I will see you on the next episode. Okay, I love you all.